Hi guys, today we're going to scrap weather forecast from this build up site by using the PHP. And we will scrap from this block which have an icon, description and the wind speed. Also at the right here we will extract this data as well. At this folder I'm going to create a new file named as the index.php and then we will need a library file called the simple XTML DOM parser to extract the information from this web page. You guys can download from this website and I have downloaded it already so let's just go in to take that file to my project. And now I'm going to write a script by just drag this text file into my VS code and then we initiate with the opening text PHP and then we will include the library that we have downloaded into this file. So firstly, we're going to make a request to the web page which we're going to scrap. And this we're using the file underscore get underscore XTML to get the web page. Then I'm gonna copy the link and then we pass it into the function. And now we get the web page which contain the XTML document. Now let's see the XTML document inside this web page by doing the inspect element. And here we're going to uh, extract from this element. By this block, I'm going to extract it from this uh, block elements. And this element manage the data that we want. So let's copy that ID. And then we start to find a variable to store this block of element. And now let's try to display that element if we can get the HTML element. Currently, I haven't started the RAM server yet, so I'm going to start launching that. And it's already running now, so let's go to the new tab, and we start running our project. And now we see that an element that we took it from the original web page, it has an ID that the same as the original web page, okay? And now we go to uh, take the icon that located inside the element. By doing this, we are uh, selected from the ID, because the IMG elements have the ID, so let's pass the ID into the function. And then we will pick up only one item by using the zero index and store it into the variable, okay? Oh, I'm going to fix this arrow. And now we have the image. So let's go to the next. Um, we're gonna working on the temperature, which is inside the class H2. Then we're gonna filter only text. Okay, here. And next, we will extract the description which is shown here. So we're going to find P, P element. And we can see there is the two P elements, but we want the first one. Okay, so we cannot display those data if we uh, correctly retrieve it. Okay, you can see that it is actually three different fields, but I'm not displaying each field with a new line, so you can see that in a single line. We have done on this and this also. And now at the right side here, we also have uh, some info that we're going to scrap. So if we take a look at the XTML source code, we can see those data is inside the table element. And the wrapper content have the class name as well. At these table elements, there are TO elements, which is indicated to the table rows. Each table row have a different fields and the value. So I'm going to uh, find the elements by the class name. So here we can go through by loops those elements using the for loop. So the item variable will hold those the value of the table row. And then the first table row is gonna be location and so on like that. Here we start find the power text. Let's see if I can get that. You see, we have the location, current time, latest report, and so on like that. This means that it is correctly worked. I will use that as key because I will store in array. And then the value, we just change the selector to the TD, refer to the table data. To clean the data key, I will remove the columns by using the string, replace, and the first argument is the text that we want to replace. And then what we want to replace too. For the last is the whole text to search. After then, I will remove 
if there is any space surrounding the text. For convenience to using later on, I will convert those keys into the lowercase and replace space between words with the underscore. And then the value, I just remove only space. Let's print the key and the value that we can get. We can see that the location as the key and the values are the Phnom Penh. So next we're going to extract the value, white speed, and the elements located in the P. The P is the child of these elements, which is we already have. Let me call up this so that we can see it better. We can see this is the first P and we are not want this element. And this is the second element contain the value that we want. So let's do this. We will find the element P by zero base index that's gonna be one and we can get all the text in the element. Let's see the display what we can get. And we can see all text is in here. We had to break down and take only the value wide speed because the value is not in a specific element. And this cannot stop us to retrieve the value. I will try to um, filter out the text by just cut break line into the piece of array. Now we have three items in array. We need the last one. I will use the function trim to remove any space on side. And then remove the specific string and explode it into the pieces again. Actually, the code is filled work from explode and then the string underscore replace. And the last one is the trim function. I mean that inside out. It will execute inside out, okay? So then, let's see if we can get that. Now we have uh, what we want. I will create an array to store the data and we will convert those into the JSON data. Then we're gonna put that into uh, our widget later on. Let's see our JSON data. As we can see there, our data is in a JSON format, which is we can use it in the Vader widget later on. And about the UI, I'm not going to design it from scratch. I'm going to use the templates that this guy already made. He also has the YouTube channel about the web design called ASMR Pro, so you can go there and check in his channel. Alright, now I will use the Vader templates as the UI, okay? I will copy these files and then create a file into my local machine, just copy those code, okay? Following by my video, I think it is very simple. I just copy and paste those into your file. Or you can just download a bunch of this stuff, okay? So all right, now we will working on this JavaScript file. We can see there are some code that they have implemented. We will remove some codes that we don't need. And now after remove some code, this is the remaining code that will have rendered the UI that we want. So here I'm going to replace the static value for the icon, copy and paste into the attribute image. Okay, now let's see the UI. And here is pretty good. Okay, we have the temperature, we have the search bar, and so now we need to implement the Ajax to fetch the data from our scraping file. And this fetch function is using the promise we request to the server, and the callback function will return us the result. So the below code should inside this parenthesis and the block of the codes will execute after the data respond from the scraping file. I'm gonna display the data and the URL is just copy from here and paste into the function. Now let's see the data respond in the console tab. The data will return and we can click at the bottom as you can see. I just make a multi-clicks and the data response is continuously. 
we have description, we have the icon, temperature, and we have the HTML uh, entity also. So I'm going to remove that things. And because of the response from the scrapping file, and this is the file, the PHP that we're going to modify, the temperature, I'm going to add a function to translate the HTML entities. So let's see again. And now the tag is working good. Okay, we can use the JSON data instead of the static values. So here we can just put on the key because the key will return as the value from the JSON. Okay, for the temperature, I will remove all because it already exists the metric. And humidity, I think that we missed something. So let's find out. Okay, I forgot to add data into the array. And now we have those data just replaced with the JSON key. And now done. Let's see the actual weather forecast today. It has the same information. As you can see, it is definitely the same. It would be nice if we can put the different cities in the search bar. And we can hit click to gather new information. So here we already have the constant city, which is we already get the value from the search bar. And for the function, we have the parameter also. That we can use it to pass the value to the scrapping file. And this is what we have in the query string with the city. And that the parameter is LOC, lock. It means refer to the location. First in the scrapping PHP file, I'm going to test whether the value that we paste from the JavaScript sent to the server successfully or not. Here we have the HTTP get to get the value and print out the link. I will go to the never tab so we can see the URL request. So let me find the same part URL in the website. So for example, this one, and then go to copy and paste and click search. You can see that the new request is made. And if we go to the tab preview, we can see the response value from the server, which is mean we can get the value it's in the server or we can call the scrapping file. And now we can replace the URL with the variable link. So let's see how it works. You can see we have the new value. I'm gonna try with the city Hong Kong, copy that, and paste here, click search, boom. That is a light raining with a different wind speed and humidity also. We can try another city, just go and copy that. It will be working fine. All right, you can download this same power project in my GitHub link down below. I would appreciate it if you guys click subscribe, share this video to support me make another video. And see you guys in the next. Thank you.